Question nine is usually difficult, but I think this one was bearable. Uh, let's take a look at it. The diagram below represents a printed poster. A rectangle A, B, C, D is the part on which the text is printed. Uh, the shaded area A, B, C, D is 432 centimeters squared, and A, D is equal to X centimeters. So we have A, D being equals to x centimeters uh, let's carry on a b c d is four centimeters from the left and the right edges of the page and three centimeter from the top and bottom of the page all right and the first question 9.1 we're supposed to show that the total area of the page is given by a is equals to 3456 divided by x plus 6x plus 480 let's go ahead and make sense of that we have a rectangle so the area of a rectangle is the length multiplied by uh, the breadth so let's go ahead and see if we can have the length and the breadth in terms of x and multiply in order to find the total area well, we know that AD is X centimeters. So from A to D, we have X centimeters. From D to the edge, we have four centimeters. And then from A to the edge, we have four centimeters. It means that from this edge to this edge, uh, let's call that our length. Uh, our length is equal to four plus X plus four. Right, so the length will be eight plus x. We have four from here to here, and then from here to here we have x, and then from here to here we have four. So that length is just four plus x plus four, which is eight plus x. That is the length. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the breadth. Let me just erase this first and see what we have. From here to here, we have three centimeters, obviously. And then from here to here, we have three centimeters. We just need the length from this point up to here. How can we do that? We have the area of the shaded area. It is said to be 432 centimeters. So we have 432. The formula for that area uh, would be AD multiplied by dc this is equals to 432 but we know that ad is x so we have dc being equals to 432 divided by x basically that is why we are given the area of a b c d right so here we have 432 divided by x so the length of the poster is 432 divided by x plus 3 plus 3. This 3 right here from D to the poster and this 3 from C to the poster plus 432 divided by x which is the length of DC. So the breadth will be equals to 432 x plus 6. Uh, this is the length and this is uh, the breadth. So we can say that the area of our poster in terms of X will be equals to uh, the length, which is 8 plus X multiplied by the breadth, which is 432 divided by X plus 6. So we just have to multiply these two brackets. 8 multiplied by 432 is 3456 divided by x and then 8 multiplied by 6 what is 8 multiplied by 6 uh, that is 48 so we have plus 48 now we multiply x by 432 we're gonna get 432 x uh, there's this x on the denominator, so they will cancel out. Plus 6x. This will be equals to 3456 
divided by x plus 48 48 plus 432 that is 480 so when i have 6x plus 480 this is exactly what we are required to show let's go ahead and move to 9.2 in 9.2 we're supposed to determine the value of x for which the total area will be a minimum you know fully well this is almost always the case we're gonna derivate the equation in 9.1 and equate to zero let's do that first and we're gonna talk about why we're doing that so a of x is equal to 3456 divided by x plus 6x plus 480 uh, but we can rewrite this right uh, a of x will be equal to 3456 x to the minus 1 that is the same as divided by x plus 6x plus 480 let's go ahead and derivate this using the power rule we're going to have a prime of x being equals to minus 3456 multiplied by x to the minus 2 plus 6 let's now equate to 0 3000 minus 3456 x to the minus 2 plus 6 is equals to 0 x to the minus 2 is problematic so let's write it as minus 3456 divided by x squared plus 6x being equals to 0 we can multiply both sides by x squared if we do that we're gonna get 6x squared minus 3456 being equals to 0 so 6x squared is equal to 3456 so x squared will be equal to 3456 divided by 6. if we take square roots on both sides we're gonna have x being equal to 24 or x being equal to minus 24. So tell me, between x is equal to 24 and x is equal to minus 24, which one corresponds to the maximum and which one corresponds to the minimum? Let me know in the comment section.